as a custom machine tool builder, it's safe to say that your customers are going to challenge you. And how you respond to that challenge defines who you are across the board. And I'm here with Joe from Mitsui Seiki, a company that accepts challenges, takes life by the horns, and creates opportunities. But first and foremost, Joe, we're hanging by this amazing machine. But how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic, thanks. How are you? It is well with my soul and a great day to talk about uh, this. Let, let's not hide behind indeed, me anymore. Indeed, yeah. We can't hide this machine. Yeah. We need to know more. This is a behemoth. I know it's a custom tool as well. Is, let's, yep. let's learn about the, the idea and the origin behind this machine. Yep, yep. So uh, Mitsui Seiki prides itself in the fact that we design and build custom machines that at the end of the day fit like a glove to the, the customer's application. So we're not, uh, you know, that, that eliminates a situation of a customer potentially having to buy a stock standard machine and then try to shoehorn their custom application into that with band-aids and fixturing and, and things of that nature. We work hand in hand from day one uh, in the trenches with the customer to make sure at the end of the day when they get their machine and they do all their sign-offs, it 100%, like I said, fits like a glove to their application. They put power to it, they load their parts, and they're pretty much ready to rock and roll. Hey, fits like a glove. I think that's fantastic and a great thing to say when you are a custom builder. Now, we're, I'm seeing lots of capability. This has to have loads of operational abilities here, but let, let, let me take it straight from you, man. What are we seeing? What are some capabilities here absolutely, we need to highlight? Absolutely. So like I mentioned, we're a custom builder and a lot of our machines come and evolve as a result of a difficult application or request that an end user had. So in the case of this machine, we were challenged and challenge accepted to develop a machine that has a thousand newton meter constant torque spindle. Okay, so we did that. We developed the spindle. Um, we got that a thousand newton meter torque. And what we did, what we uh, what we determined and found out is that that you know whenever you make an improvement like that, it identifies weaknesses or or hiccups downstream of that. So we found out that we had to reinforce the the column of the machine. We had to reinforce the stiffness of the. Uh, the box weighs and, uh, and things of that nature. So um, the column is actually wider and deeper than the previous machine to account for that additional torque of the spindle. We've got dual ball screws on both our Z and our Y axis to accommodate and deal with that torque and really lock those, those axes in place when you're dealing with machining some of those, you know, very tough gummy uh, heat resistant super alloys, titanium, zinc and L, alloys, things of that nature. And also, as I mentioned on our hardened and ground uh, boxways, which are already truly, truly stiff on their own, we increased the width of that to, again, increase the, the functional stiffness of the machine, all to deal with that monster spindle that we put in there. You know, I'm a, I'm a high performance guy, I like to hot rod my cars and things like that. And to me, this is my favorite machine. This is truly a hot rod. Um, and to top it all off, the spindle tool interface, we actually went with a KM spindle. Uh, we found that that's got the, the highest um, moment uh, across the board from all the, all the spindles that we tested. So uh, just an example, that's got five times the stiffness of an HSK 100, which this machine previously would have come fitted standard with. So, so all, around, all across the board, all the ancillary foundational bits of this machine are designed specifically around that that monster spindle to get and uh, maintain that uh, uh, integrity across the machine and oh by the way we've got about this machine has approximately a meter and a half travel across the three main axes three micron positional accuracy across the machine in spite of having that monster spindle so you can truly rough and finish on this machine and maintain that micron level accuracy that Mitsui Seiki is known for. A hot rod machine yep. that does the starting and the finishing in Absolutely. this behemoth. You have all the capability. I feel like Absolutely. this thing could move the earth. It, it, uh, we believe it can, yeah, yeah. There we go. And then so with that, we've covered a lot of wonderful features, but let's round things off with what is your favorite piece about this machinery? Oh my goodness. I would have to say the capability of the spindle, yeah. And, and I, I like high performance things again, so, so exotic materials, exotic cars. Um, the fact that this can really dig in and eat on the titan titaniums, the inconels, and materials like that, and oh, by the way, maintain that micron accuracy that we're, that we're well known for, to me, that's really the, the highlight of this machine. Well, there we go. Hey, in a challenging world, Mitsui Seiki says, challenge accepted. Hey, Indeed. everybody, this is Eddie from MTD CNC. We'll see you next time.